Hi guys, so this is my digital planner that I use. It's just on my iPad. It's from Hustle Sanely. I will link her stuff down below. It is being used through the GoodNotes app and I absolutely love it. With this digital planner, it comes blank so you can reuse it for years and years to come. So here's just the beginning of it and here's our tabs and then I will click the weekly tab and show you the academic planner page. This particular page did not come with the planner. I pulled inspiration slash text from other planning pages I purchased from Jess Massey. And if you are interested in this, please let me know and I will figure out how to um, get it to you the legal and right way. I typically use about three of these, about three weeks worth I have in my planner so I can future plan weeks ahead of time, but I tend to not go more than that as far as the weekly planning goes. Okay, let me break down this page for you. So I have each of my classes and they are acronymed. So APD is articulation phonological disorders, LGD is language disorders, you get the picture. So I make sure that I have all my classes per day, that way I can focus on what I need to do per class per day so that I'm not sitting there for 30 minutes trying to figure out what I need to do for each class. You can see I've got APD filled in and I've got some audiology stuff filled in as well. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to fill in for speech hearing science. For speech and hearing science, I have three things due next Tuesday. So you can see I switched over to the following week and I just write down and highlight what is due. I tend to only use the highlighter when things are due or when I have to work on something that day. So let me show you how I insert stickers for assignments and things like that. So these are the stickers that the planner came with and then I created these other stickers. So I'm going to grab the speech and hearing science reading sticker and insert that. So I'm going to lasso, take the screenshot, copy and paste, and I'm going to do this for every day because I do want to try to read every day. As I go through the class or classes, I will see what is actually realistic and doable and what is not, and then I'll just readjust according to how things are going. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make it a goal to read a little bit every day. So I'm just gonna insert what chapters I would like to read per day. If you don't want to use the stickers, you absolutely do not have to. I only do it whenever I have time to make it look neater. I can also just write it in. So just partic participation agreement. So these quizzes are due on Tuesday, but I like to try to do them on Monday, the day before, if it's doable, just to have it out of the way and ensure that I do it on time. And then when I'm done with it, I get to check it off and that's the best feeling ever. So here's the daily planning page that it did come with. I don't typically use this on a daily basis, but this is just an example of what you could do. Okay, so this is just a typical weekday for me since I work. So I have the top three things I like to do. So it would be an assignment, so fish and finish auditory lecture, a workout, and then clean for 15 minutes. Okay, so here I'm going to show you my monthly page. So here I'm just going to make a sticker and copy it and put it into my monthly planner so that I can see a clear overview of the big assignments that are due. I typically do this only for exams or quizzes or assignments that are due. That way I can also see if I need to make need or want to make plans for the weekend, I can see exactly what I am obligated to do school-wise and then I can make the best decision on my weekend plans. So here I'm just inserting that audiology assignment is due and I have an exam due as well. So yeah, this is how I digital plan for school and life, but mostly school. And I really, really like the digital planning. Like I have said in another video before that digital planning is so nice because it's with you everywhere. You can access it from your phone, your iPad, your laptop. It just makes life a lot easier. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And I hope you have a great semester. Thanks.